The Revolution Smallpox and Inoculation Let's begin first with smallpox. The smallpox is ten times more terrible than Britons, Canadians, and Indians together. What is smallpox? This illness gets its name from pus-filled blisters that form when someone is infected. Some symptoms include fever, headache, backache, and tiredness. This disease impacted the Continental Army majorly. Inoculation also affected the war as well. The process of inoculation is quite grotesque. Doctors, or sometimes soldiers, would cut a piece of skin on the hand, arm, or leg and put pus or a scab of an infected person into the patient's incision. The Siege of Boston A siege is a military operation in which enemy forces are surrounded in a town or building. They are cut off from supplies and opposing side waits for surrender. In this case, American soldiers enclosed Britain troops within Boston. The siege of Boston was an 11th month period starting on April 19, 1775 through March 17, 1776. This event trapped the English army local residents in smallpox. As winter came, it got worse. To inoculate or not to inoculate? George Washington was in a heavy spot. Should he inoculate his men? Well, if he did his men all at the same time, they'd be out for a month, making them vulnerable to the British army. If he inoculated a few at a time, the virus might escape and sicken the whole army. So what was Washington's decision? George Washington won two victories at Trenton and Preston. But the army had to take shelter in Morristown, New Jersey, and the while camped in Morristown, smallpox infected many soldiers. He wrote a letter to Dr. William Shippen, ordering inoculations of the Continental Army to begin straight away. I have determined that the troops shall be inoculated, George Washington wrote. The vaccines continued into the winter of 1778 when thousands of men went through the procedure at Valley Forge. When winter was over, George Washington and his men were immune to smallpox, and they could now battle without worry. Smallpox would never affect the Continental Army like it had before. The Continental Army was the first in the world with an organized program to prevent smallpox. Smart military strategy, France's help, and attention to smallpox control all combined to bring American victory. But once it left the Continental Army, the virus headed to the south. The last recorded case of smallpox in the U.S. was in 1949.